Hi guys, hope you all are well. So today I'm going to review another new launch which is by Nykaa. I'm going to review Nykaa Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Foundation. Nykaa has launched these foundations in 15 shades which is very impressive to be honest. And uh, I was very very excited to see the shades that range from light to deeper skin tones. And there, the shade range is very beautiful. They have tried to cover pink tones, olive tones and yellow tones within the same range. These foundations are 30 ml. They come in plastic black tube and you have the foundation name written on the back of the tube like in, in on a sticker. The tube is very easy to use. It has a flip top cap. The best part is that these foundations are matte which make them suitable for the upcoming weather which is like very hot. These are cruelty free. They don't have mineral oil in there. A bit thick. These are not liquidy, these are creamy. They look very natural. I was honestly very surprised with the finish. I have shade number 12 True Toffee on and it's a perfect match for me. As you can see, the shade is looking pretty awesome. It blended in so well. I dotted it on my face and then blended it with a sponge. Nykaa has sent me a brush but I've not used it because I prefer to blend my foundations with sponge so that they don't look cakey especially if, if it's a matte foundation so I applied a very light layer and it gave me skin like finish and uh, my skin, skin is not feeling stretchy or dry I don't have uh, highlighted dry patches anywhere on my skin and uh, what I love the most is that it gives you very skin like finish the number 12 is pretty good match for NC4243 and it looks absolutely flawless it has very rich tones so it's not too yellow or it's not neutral it's pretty awesome and i have not color corrected my this upper lip area but it's looking pretty nice the foundation is priced at rupees 5.99 but if you buy it today you will get 10 percent off now, this is not a sponsored video i just wanted to put it out there because in the pr mail they have mentioned that on the launch day you will get launch offer which is like get 10 percent off i'm very happy uh, because i am someone who always struggles with shades and the previous shade range the nika skin genius had i think only six shades but this time they have outdone themselves and launched 15 shades and the shades are pretty nice you will see all the swatches on my face So it's 225 right now. So I'll wear this foundation throughout the day and record the performance after every two hours, three hours or so. And I'll you guys will see how the foundation performs on my skin. Hi, so I am back for the first check-in. It's 4:30, like quarter to five right now, and my makeup is looking pretty awesome. And I can tell that it's not like a hardcore matte formula because my nose is pretty shiny and I did not use any highlighter. But overall my blush is still very prominent. It's still very, uh, it's still looking very strong. And rest everything is looking pretty nice. I'm feeling really nice. My skin has no dry patches, nothing anywhere. So, so far so good. So I'll keep it on for a couple more hours and keep you posted. I'll check back in another two hours from now.
and I am checking in for the second time so yeah I slept a little so as you can see the makeup is pretty much still on it has rubbed off uh, of my nose uh, I have actually rubbed it off because uh, I was eating something very spicy and my nose started running the rest of the blush is still pretty much visible and uh, I'm not feeling very dry my skin is not really very dry my skin is looking pretty okay I can see the concealer from the under eye area has faded a little bit but on the rest of my face its foundation is still there so I'll check back in another two hours time so it's 9 30 now and I have this makeup on for the past seven hours and uh, my blush is still visible though it has become slightly patchy and uneven so I think the foundation has started to fade overall I will say that this foundation stays put for good six plus hours which is really good for hot weather here in Delhi and uh, the finish is really nice it's not entirely matte but it is skin like uh, yeah you can see it has faded from the under eye area as well the foundation because i did not apply anything else apart from foundation uh, on the under eye area but i think overall the foundation has a decent staying power it's not one of the longest wearing foundations but i don't really wear foundation for more than six hours even if i have to and this one held up really well so i will give this foundation a thumbs up since it has stayed on for a really nice really long time and yeah so i'm going to sign off and i'm going to take my makeup off because i have to uh, feed my daughter and just i'm just going to bed bit early today so i did wear this foundation for a good seven hours so what i'll do i'll wear it another time and i'll wear it pretty early in the morning and we'll see how long does it stay so for that you guys can follow me on instagram because i keep on doing a lot of instagram stories i talk about a lot of products there i'll mention my instagram handle on the page somewhere so just check it out the rest i think the foundation is pretty good you can give this a shot it, it, it doesn't cost too much it's for 5.99 only yeah so bye guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this review i have done the wear test for the first time and i'm planning to do it pretty often uh, going forward especially for the foundations and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are watching me for the first time please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you very very soon in my next video till then bye.